Good day folks, just an update on the Don Smith stuff. I did a few modifications to the setup and I'll get to that a little later in another video. I just don't want to confuse people right away here. But the point is what's happening here is I got it charging the super capacitor banks and right now it's not running so it's at 4.59 and I have this device here that switches a motor. So when I turn it on, not only will the output of the rectifier keep running the motor, but while the motor runs, the capacitors keep charging at the same time. So in other words, the load isn't taking all of the power from the capacitor. So it's able to sustain a regular load and charge the system at the same time. So I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to turn on the um, motor first, okay? So you're going to see a slight drop because now we've turned the motor on, 0.58. Now I'm going to turn the oscillator on. So look what's happening here. 4.62, 4.63, and the motor works no problem. So at 4.63, 4.64 now, and I could actually hear the motor going faster. 4.65, 4.66, so this is charging the rectifiers, charging the supercapacitor banks, and I'm running the motor off the supercapacitor banks, but the supercapacitors are still charging up no problem, even if it's running the load. 4.65, sorry for the wires in the way, 4.66. So you get it quickly charging up the capacitors. This is very low. 4 volts and it's uh, 1 amp max but I'm using about 500 MAs with this oscillator here limited so very little input and it's running the tube here now we're at 4.67 and the motor keeps running no problem 4.68 now So this rectifier is rectifying the tube's output, the cone capacitor, into the, rect uh, into the super capacitor bank, also running our motor here. Four point six eight, four point six nine. So pretty quick charge, and remember, these super capacitor banks are very high capacity. It takes me about 15 to 20 minutes at 1.5 amps on a 12 volt charger to bring these up to 14 volts. So the fact that it's going up this quick is pretty good, because this is almost like a mini, uh, like a motorcycle battery or something. Not quite as powerful there, but um, a lot of farads. Let's see here if it, I can read what it says. Da, da, da. on the wrong side I think they were like can't read it from here I know those ones here over there are 500 F so 4.70 now 4.71 and our motor is stable and we're accumulating a charge So it's it's these wires aren't doing anything. Just probes. This isn't even connected. So the only thing we have is this little oscillator over here. Spark gap right into a capacitor first. Tube dynamics into the rectifier. Four point seven two now. So the point is, I could run my load without draining the source. Four point seven three now. So I imagine on a larger scale with a twelve volt battery. With a slightly bigger oscillator, 
would produce the same effect running as something bigger like a small inverter. Four point seven four. It's got no problems filling in that charge and still running the load. And obviously the motor runs a little faster as the voltage builds up as well. Four point seven five. So yeah, folks, I'm liking this configuration. It looks very promising. Just keeping you folks up to date because I know you, you like to see things running sometimes off of it. So we're actually loading it, and it's sustaining its voltage charge. So until next time, folks, thank you for watching.